Hi guys, um, so I know I didn't do a March favorites, but I think my April favorites is going to be really good. Um, yeah, my hair, it was like, I don't know if you watched Tanya Burr, but she did a really cool video on a giant like bird's nest bun, and that's what I did, and it looks okay over here, but I like hit my head getting in and out of, or not my head, my bun getting in and out of my car. And so I've been just like stabbing bobby pins in it all day at work. So I'm going to redo it before I go to dinner tonight. I just didn't feel like it. So I'm just going to show you a collective haul. Things that I got from the MAC Quite Cute collection. Things that I got from Ulta with my 20% off everything. And just stuff that I've been accumulating over the past couple of weeks. Um... So first I got Origins Vitazing. It's SPF 15 and it's just an oil free moisturizer. I heard about it from Tiffany D. And here it is. And it comes off, it's like a white cream. And you like, it takes a tiny bit to put on your skin. And it like turns into the color of your skin. Like it's different for everyone. It like, I don't know, it's really cool. So I like it a lot. And they gave me a sample of a Perfect World Moisturizer, SPF 25, so I haven't used that yet. I might use it tomorrow because I'm going to be outside a lot. Um, then I got two new lashes, Ardell. I got the um, Individuals, which I don't, I, this is my first set of Individuals, and these are just the short ones because they're pretty long. There you go, you can see right there. So I didn't you know you don't want a crazy like one long ass individual eyelash so I got the shorts because they're like very long anyways they're not short and then I got the 136's and I tried to put these on one morning whenever I was in a rush but it was just like a mess like they don't bend easily so like you would have to like hold like each end to fit like the roundness the shape of your eye so I need to like try those whenever I have more time and then I got the wispies and these are like major like they're gosh sorry I'm retarded they're like very long like they curl out like major eyelashes so I don't know if these are the demi wispies or if they're just wispies so I don't know anyways they look cool I'm gonna try them soon then I got, let's do this stuff, I got this Maybelline one by one mascara, Volume Express, I got it in, gosh, blackest black, and this is waterproof, um, here, let me show you what the one looks like, it's like a plastic wand, so I like it, it's, I have it on today, but you can't really see, um, I, I like it with two coats. I don't like it with one coat, but, okay, it, it's a pain in the ass to get off, but I think all waterproof mascaras are, but I really like it with two coats. It's very separating, and it holds the curl really well, so I like that a lot. Um, I got this Milani HD Advanced Concealer. It's like the YSL Touche Clot. It says click, cover, correct, and protect for eye and face. I got it in the color, I don't know. It says 01, so I guess it's the lightest shade, which isn't surprising because I'm super pale. Um, and you just like, you hear that? You just like click the end and it comes out of here and you like, it's kind of harsh if you put it under your eyes with this. So I just like put it on the back of my hand and then use my finger or a brush or something. But it's not that good of coverage. Um, I would probably use it if I had like a red spot, like a blemish or something. But I don't, it's not that good of coverage, but whatever. Um, and then I got a NYX Jumbo Pencil and French Fries and it's hard to open. Um... It's just like a golden brown bronze color. 
do that. I don't know. It's pretty. I want to use it under like mulch. I think it's going to be really nice. And then I got a Benefit Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow in Birthday Suit. It's one of their popular ones. Um, gosh, why is everything hard to open? It's just like a taupey gray color. But I, well, you can see I put it on yesterday and it's so sheer. I wasn't expecting that. Um, like I put it on and then I would let it dry and then like put another coat. Like I seriously probably could have done that like five times. So I don't know how much I love it. Um, and then I got, now this is what I'm excited for. I got this in um, Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. It's regular, and this is the 0.5 fluid ounces, which is, like, enormous. It's regular $42, and I got it for $21. It was 50% off. And I'm wearing it today, and I've been wearing it for the past couple of days, and I really like it. Um, just to show you how much is in here, here's my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer. And this is 0 0.06 ounces, and this is 0.5. So it's like five times as much, and I've hit pan in my Bobbi Brown. I like this one better than Bobbi Brown, and a lot of people say Bobbi Brown is the best one out there, but I like the Amazing Cosmetics better. Um, I think I'm going to do a whole concealer video. Um, what else did I get? Okay, now for the things that I got from the MAC Quite Cute collection. It came out yesterday, and I went in there, and I wanted... The blushes like I wanted to look at them I saw swatches on Temptalia's Temptalia.com and they're really pretty but they're very sheer and like I swatched them all on my hand and they didn't show up like I rubbed the crap out of the blush and put it on my hand and nothing so I didn't get any of those um I liked the nail lacquers but I have colors that are like them and I'm not gonna pay $14 a bottle for a MAC nail polish and I've heard that they don't have like good consistency they're like watery so I just wasn't into that and then I got so the lipsticks I really liked plain koi which was like a peach pale like a peachy nude it was gorgeous and I put it on but it was like terrible texture it was like dry I don't even remember what finish it is it has to be matte I don't know it was so dry and whenever I go like this you can just see it like all in the cracks of my lips and after like two minutes just standing there in the store on the inside of my lip it was like settling so I was like oh okay I'm definitely not getting that um, but the color was really pretty so I wish it had better you know texture and consistency um, so I ended up last night just getting candy yum yum which is what I'm wearing right now it's just a super hot pink and it's matte so I really like that um, here it is. See how hot pink that is? And, okay, I have Pink Nouveau. Let me find it. And I thought this one was a bright pink. But then I, like, swatched them. Okay, this is Pink Nouveau, and here is Candy Yum Yum. They are not the same at all. Like, let me just slow down. It's so, like, dark. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I swatched them next to each other on my hand. I was like, that doesn't even look bright anymore it just looked like a like a dark pink and so I knew I had to get this one and I love it I'm wearing it and it's pretty and bold and I I like that it's matte and okay so then I swatched um what's this called quite cute and I liked it like I loved it the color it's just a pale like milky white lavender and I really like it. And actually, oh, I have a nail polish just to show you too. Um, okay. I'll show you those later. Whatever. Anyways, it's like a nail polish that or it reminds... Ugh, okay, I'm just going to show you now. It's Essie's Nice is Nice. And this is from... Um, I don't think it's French Affair. It's the other one. I forgot what it's called. Or is it French Affair? 
I don't remember. Anyways, um, so it reminded me of that. So, like, I just went to look at the Quite Cute, and I got Candy Yum Yum last night. So, today after work, I was like, oh, I have to stop and get Quite Cute. So, here it is. It's like super pale lavender. Gosh, I look like I'm a midget or something, which I almost am. Um, isn't it pretty? Let me see if I can swatch it. Which, this is a cream sheen, but it's like super, super pale. Like, I had to do like 40 coats on my hand. Like, look how many times I'm going like back and forth just to get like some color. And it's still like not really even showing up. Um, can you see that? It's like just a frosty purple. I don't know. I'm hoping that I love it because I had to go back for it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I'll probably try it out tomorrow or something. Okay, and then for the nail polishes that I got from the Texas collection, MAC, I mean, not MAC, geez, OPI's Texas collection, I just got Big Hair, Big Nails. And it's like a red orange. I don't know. It's really pretty. I had it on my toes. I like it on my toes. I had it on my nails. I don't like it on my nails. Um, so I really like that. I'm happy about that one. And then I got Nice is Nice from Essie, like I just showed you. And this color, I love it a lot. Like, I almost wanted to put it on my nails like three times in a row. But I didn't. Um, I actually, right now, they're all chipped and funky. I needed, I was gonna redo my nails, but I'm going to eat crawfish tonight, so I didn't want to, like, it would be a waste of a nail polish. So, I'm just gonna take it off. Um, oh, that's another thing I can show you. So, I got, it's called, um, French Affair. Oh, no. Fuck, I can't remember. I think it is called French Affair. The pink on my nails. And I really like it. I might buy the bottle of it. So, oh, yeah, I bought the little four set with Nice is Nice, um, French Affair, Topless and Barefoot, and that blue color, I don't remember what it's called, but it's ugly, and then I bought it for Topless and Barefoot, because it's, like, hard to find. I'm in Houston, Texas, and I cannot find Topless and Barefoot anywhere, so I bought the set, it was the only set that Ulta had, and it had Topless, like, a mini Topless and Barefoot in it, and I was like, oh. I have to have it so I'm just gonna buy it so I already had this and I couldn't find my receipt and then I don't like the blue so I was like spending $17 just for topless and barefoot in the pink so I was like oh it's not I don't know if it's worth it so my friend my best friend she tried it out on her nails because she was over here and changing her nail polish whatever so she used topless and barefoot and it wasn't anything great like she took it off like the next day I think she didn't like it that much so, over it, not, I returned the little four, the quad mini set. Okay, here's Essie, um, all in one base, and I love this. I, like, don't want to use Sachet V anymore because everybody says bad stuff, and then there's, like, some warning on the bottle that says this may cause, I don't know, birth defects, something crazy like that. So, I'm, like, over Sachet V even though I still use the top coat. I want to get the new SE top coat. I forgot what it's called, but it's it was in my new Glamour magazine. Um, okay, I also got these leopard, where are they? Okay, I put them in a Ziploc bag. Um, these SE uh, nail sticker things, and I've had it on there for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. For 10 days. Okay, and it says they last a minimum up to 10 days. Hold on, I'll just open it and show you. I'm going to freak right now. Okay, fits all nails. They're Sally Hansen Salon Effects. They're cheaper at HEB Grocery Store by me. They're like six fifty or something like that. They're $10 like at Walgreens and Ulta. So you just peel. Where are the strips? Okay, they come in this little thing, and you, like, have to peel the back off. And they're just, like, little nail strips, and you, like, peel that end off. And you just put them on your nail. They're made of nail polish. But these things are awesome. Like, I'm obsessed. I want to get, like, all the other ones. Because, 
Okay, look at that. I only did two nails because I didn't want to do like major leopard. Ten days and they're still perfect. Well, this one chipped, but then my nail chipped on the corner, so I think it was just my nail chipping. Oh, sorry, I'm really bad with this. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so they're awesome, and I'm gonna get them in every color. And they even have like normal, like just solid colors, so if you just want like a colored manicure to last 10 days, like, I think they, like the colored ones, they're not like awesome colors, but they're like good colors. They're summer, like bright colors. If they had black, I would definitely get that. Um, okay, so I think they would be good for like summer if you're going, or whenever if you're going on a vacation. Because if you're on vacation, you don't want like chipped ass nails, you don't want no nail polish, but you don't want to have to like keep redoing them. So I would suggest those like for vacationing. Like next time I go on a vacation, I'm going to put those all over my nails. Um, so I really love those things. Like I had, but okay, the only catch is I read this on the box somewhere. Excuse me. Where does it say? Okay. I showed you how I had to peel it. Like, peel the silver backing. Like, it was like... I don't know. Like, a little... I don't know. Like, it's gonna go bad or something. So, and it comes with a second... Another package, but it's still in here. That's, like, what that one is right there. Um, because it comes with 16 of them. And I only use two, so this will last me, like, for the rest of my life um on the box it says open unused strips should be discarded so does that mean that they're gonna go bad like once I peel this silver backing like I can't I don't know that's why I put them in a ziploc bag because I don't know that's just weird like they're on a strip and you have to peel it in order for it to be sticky so I don't see why they would go bad but then again, why do they have that notice on there? So, yeah. I put them in a Ziploc bag, like, sealed, because I want them to last. So, I don't know. I'm kind of scatterbrained today. Anyways, um, I just have regular foundation, my Makeup Forever HD. I'm wearing uh, Cheek and Cheerful on my cheeks. Can you hear my dogs barking? I think it's because my door is closed. I'm going to come in. I have Cheek and Cheerful on my cheeks. And I have in my Naked palette, I have Buck and Half Baked in my crease. So Buck is... Uh, that one right there. And then Half Baked is right next to it. And it's just like a shiny, I don't know, it almost reminds me of like a more tan woodwinked or something. Or a more orangey woodwinked, I don't know. So, I love those colors together. And then I just have my Bobbi Brown gel liner, my new 1x1 one one mascara, uh, my eyebrows are filled in with espresso, and I put a little bit of Too Chic highlighter with my Amazing Cosmetics Concealer and my new lipstick, um, Candy Yum Yum. So, and then my hair, like, I promise this was cute whenever I left this morning. It wasn't all whatever that's going on over there, like, I think, I don't know where that's supposed to be. Anyways, I'm gonna redo it. But I really love, like, the only thing is, like, my fucking head hurts. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, all day I'm, like, like stretching my head. I don't know. I think it's because I have so many bobby pins. Like, the ponytail's tight, but I have, like, bobby pins. My dogs are so impatient. Okay. Thank you for watching and listening to me blab. And I'm going to try to make some more videos, like, more frequently. Because I know I've, I don't make a lot ever. But, okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.